there's a lot of things I remember about Sensei. Uh, I'm going to start off right away is that he was very proud of the children's classes and the children. And I saw him like a grandfather um, with the kids. And he loved to like give them when they were, you know, that maybe their parents were in class or something like that. Because unfortunately, I showed up late sometimes. Instead of you would think he would be warming up or stretching or something, but he was like, all right, we have cookies for you. We have crayons. Here's a coloring book. You know, have some fun. And he was like grandfatherly. Uh, so that was one thing that always struck me about him was his uh, gentleness and his kindness. And I had heard stories about that. But when you see it, um, and, and it wasn't a... Uh, it was a very real and genuine aspect of him as a human being that I loved. And he was like that on the dojo, on the mat uh, with his students. You'd, you'd always see him kind of like, you know, tapping people on the head as a joke. Um, he used to call me Friar Tuck sometimes because where I shaved my head, I was starting to go bald over the years. And when I was working with my seniors and I would be getting pinned and he would say, hey, and he would tap me on the head. He goes, you know, you look like Friar Tuck, and he just got the biggest laugh out of it. And I did too, because it was, it was just so funny. Um, I still remember uh, my first teacher. I didn't start at this dojo. I started out in, in Queens. Um, he says, you know, Yamada Sensei is in his prime now. And if you take Ukemi from him, just remember that you are a beginner and you're a very strong guy. So when you grab him, you know, grab him firmly. Don't grab him weakly, but not too hard because he might not know you and he might take it as a challenge. So, of course, I only remembered that and it was a shihonage and then he threw me flat on my back and... It wasn't hard, like he wasn't brutal about it. He just did the technique and I wasn't ready for someone of, of his skill. I really didn't feel anything until I hit the mat and I felt like my chest was sinking into the ground and you know, definitely then I knew, I wasn't hurt, but I knew that I loved Aikido. And when I would take Ukemi for him, uh, I just remember a feeling of uh, kind of like getting sucked into a black hole. People always wonder what it's like, but the sign on the wall, I think it says, you know, a victory at the moment of contact. Um, and that's what he did. As soon as you would grab him or make contact with him, that was like, that was his influence on your body. And, and it was just so light to the touch. I remember like, like I said, I'm a carpenter, I, I used to work, and, and he showed, he was showing me something, he was, yo, hey, come here, and you grab hold, and then he would just, you cut. And like, I was just holding on to him one second, and then my hands, you know, like, my hands were empty, and I was like, how did you do that, sensei? And he just kind of smiled, you know? You know, like, kind of like I showed you already, you know? Um, and, just two more quick things. I, I'm sorry, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, first time I put, put the hakama on, you know, when Steve said, Sensei wants you to test. So, of course, I was nervous, and I, thank God I passed my test. But the first day I wore my hakama, um, I didn't think I tied it properly. And it fell down and it slipped. And he said, David, go fix your hakama. So I went off the mat and I was tying it and then like he was standing at the doorway and he was kind of looking at me and he said, come here. And he tied my hakama for me and it was, you know, obviously I was very embarrassed because, you know, I, I never wanted to disappoint him and you never wanted to let him down as a student. But this was, I was really embarrassed because I felt like my uncle or my grandfather was like, uh, putting my belt on for me like I was seven years old again and it was kind of strange feeling but you know he loved he loved his students he he really did I, I hope people remember that that he really loved his students and then um, the last one is uh, the last test that he proctored um, 
you know, I got off the mat, and then I was taking off my hakama, and he says, hey, what are you doing? Because you're the UK, get on the mat, hurry up. And I said, oh no, and, and I was so nervous because he would always make me nervous, and you know, I didn't want to let him down, so I'm trying to get dressed, and I'm running out, and then after the test, he was maybe joking with me, he goes, you know, you're a terrible UK. And then <laughs> he smiled and he left, you know, and that was it. But um, thank you, Sensei, for all your teaching.